this one next. This one was cheap. It wasn't five dollars like they say. But it should have from these arrows, it should have what that other one didn't have. It should have a reverse and a steering type thing. So like a little video game thing this one goes up and down I think and this one goes side to side so of course both take the batteries But it does. It does kind of time. This one has a kind of mechanism on it. This is what you use in the controller. Oh, now for the dismantling. gonna be a lot a lot better than the first one. I already feel a lot better made. Okay now so as we pull on the side that kind of comes up also on this side. Then there's some little holders in the back which means that you have to try to get in through the front and there's a screw right there. Now, there's also the bottom part, but I only saw where well, there are screws right there and right there, but we don't really want to mess with the housing for the wheels. So we're going to try getting in through the top and see what it shows. Might wind up closing this back up because we don't know what we're going to find and now, but we're looking for a screwdriver that will take out this screw. Okay, so that comes off, which I think is by design. This is a much better looking car without that. <laughs> this, this, or this. That looks better to me. Okay. 
Okay, pretty much what you have to do with this is to just pull and pull and then when you got this part up, then you have to work through the side with a screwdriver, come around and then work the other side with a screwdriver, eventually it pop up to the circuit board right there. As you can see, we can see the circuit plain and clear right here. Okay, so we got everything stabilized. As you can see, the circuit board is now because we put the screw back in. Um, I tied a wire onto this part, so that's now stable. Now, with this, we have to find out where our ground wire is. Okay. So here's how it was supposed to work yesterday. Now, we found out that the ground is here. And it actually have, it's the only one on this board that have a little pole sticking up. And so, I just hooked on an alligator clip there for ground. Okay. Now, I found that I could find the turn mechanism for this with no batteries in the pack, but I could not get the wheels to spin, and that could be because um, that could be because of any number of reasons. Well, that could be because it was under power. So, I put the battery pack in. As you remember, I was trying from the tutorial, I had put a resistor on there. Still, it didn't work. So, I took the resistor off and did it the way I did it yesterday. I'm not trying to burn anything out. You know, I'm trying to be careful. Especially with what just happened with the other one, how the chip got burnt out. And we don't want chips to get burnt out. Carefully going forward, I found which pins was working. So the first thing you have to do, like I said yesterday, is find a common ground. This one actually got a turn mechanism and a four and a reverse. So... After I found the common ground, which is this one with the pole sticking up. So whenever you see something that looks unusual, try that first as the common ground because that may be what they, a way that they marked it for common ground. So then I took my positive and started looking for things. I found that these two, the first one is not doing anything. But the second and third pin on this side is the turn mechanism. So, so going to the second pin. Okay, first second. You see strong turning. Okay. Then the third pin to the other side. Okay. Now... Next, you would need to find the forward and reverse, right? This tape is here to show the direction it's going, but it goes pretty fast. The first one on this side. Okay, that's your forward. Because this is the front wheel, so that's your forward. It's something with this one, with the wheel actually triggering as well. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah, that's the four right there. This is another four at the second one. And you don't get that wheel turning. Just the four motion. Yeah, the 
second one, you just get the forward motion. Now, the third one is the backwards motion. Okay. So, your forward one is a jerky forward, the first one. The second one is a smooth forward. The third one is your reverse. 